I know what it's like to have a friend who um, is distraught and it seems as though you're like their only last lifeline and you don't know what to do yourself and you're being distraught because you know if you lose them, you'll never be able to forgive yourself. Oh yeah, that that's pressure. No lie. That's like trying to defuse a bomb that's getting ready to explode a city type pressure. It is, I swear. Um two things. I want to take I want to take two people out of this. The person who wants to kill themselves and the person who's trying to stop them or the person that they've come to. First, I want to talk about the person who's talking to them, the 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 lifeline, okay? The lifeguard. But um yeah, so the lifeguard. I just want to say this so that way we can go ahead and explain it. You, your physical being alone may not be able to save them. Relax. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to explain. It's like this. The person calls you or texts you or reaches out to you telling them that they want to end it. They obviously are telling you because they trust you. They feel some type of comfort in you. No one else. They could have just done it and said nothing. But no, they told you. First off, you have to be calm as the lifesaver, the lifeguard. You have to be calm, okay? Because if you break down, then they feel as though they have no one else holding them up. And so they break down. God is living water, right? So in this parable, you can say God, Jesus, is the water and you are the Sprite or the Coke or the Mountain Dew or the Crush or the seven. You you see what I'm saying? You're the juice in this situation. Okay, running the race of life. Let's take it like this. We're going to take it from here on now. No more analogies after this. You and your friend, y'all both running the race of life. Your friend is down on down dehydrated. You need something to drink fast. You th- Now, the Coke, the Sprite, all of that has sugar in it, so it boosts you up. You tell somebody the white words, they feel like they can do anything in the world. But that dies. It passes away because it's not everlasting. Come on. I know I'm speaking to somebody right now. I know this is making sense. Think about it. Okay, so you give them the Sprite. They back up on their feet and they hauling it. Cutting down their miles. Boom, zooming. But a short time later, they get down again. All somebody has to do is do the exact same thing. Say some words and you're down again. Bang, you tripped on a rock. Or you, you're done. You're down again. You give them more Sprite. Boom, they get up a little longer, but this time they take them a little longer. Because the, the negative sometimes the negative sometimes goes over the positive. I'm losing light fast here. Losing light fast here. So this time they're having to put more energy. The sprite running through them even faster than before. They go down again, and this time they're just done. All of that carbon, the sugars, it helps, but it doesn't help in the long run. Now, let's do it the other way. You give them the living water, Jesus. You think now, at first, yes, it doesn't feel good. No, because a part of you has to die first. A part of you has to die, and that's the old flesh. And trust me, that stuff sucks, okay? It sucks. And even when you're a Christian, sometimes it comes, sometimes that flesh tries to sneak back up on you. It's like weeds in a garden. 
You gotta spray some of that weed killer on a little bit, a little bit of that weed killer. And you, when those um, spiritual weeds die, sometimes you feel them. Sometimes then they hurt. Sometimes you feel them. Sometimes they just keep going back, and God just keeps spraying it on there. He's like, "I'm helping you. I'm helping you." And you ain't. And you want to hold on to it because it feels good to the flesh. But He's like, "Nope, you don't need this. You don't need this. It's just like it's just like sweet. Any come. It's just like candy. Why do you think?" Your parents cut you off after a certain amount. He's like, I want more, though. It tastes so good. It's like, no, I know what's best for you. It's the same thing with God. It's like, you don't need this. I'm just, I'm killing this. You don't need it. Okay? So you give them this water, the water. They drink the water, and they start moving at a steady pace. They drink more, and they keep moving. They don't pick up. They don't slow down. They stay at this pace, but they keep moving. They don't stop. No matter what happens, they can stumble on a rock. They keep moving. They can trip in a hole. They keep moving. Why? Because this water has nourished their bodies. It's giving them what they need to move on. Jesus does the exact same thing. He knows exactly what you need. Lifeguard. So now that you know these two things, what are you going to give them? You're going to give them the, the uh, you, the Coke, the Sprite, the Pepsi, the Mountain Dew, or you're going to give them the living water, the one and only Jesus Christ. Oh, and guess what? When you're running, the water can help you help them. Come, come on, come, come on, come. The living water can help you help them. It can give. Come on, the water can give you the things that you need to help them, the strength you need to have them lean on your shoulders so you can march on through. Now, the person who's in distress, listen very carefully. I want to tell you something first. You feel like the world is against you. You feel like like legit everything ever has failed. And there's this one thing. For one reason, you are leaning on this one person or this one thing because it has not failed you in the past. I have to give you a warning, a spoil alert. They will. All of it fails because none of it is perfect. It all passes away. You're going after the Sprite. Lean in on this person. Now, I'm not going to lie. Maybe God has moved you to lean on them. I'm not saying don't lean on them, but I'm saying... Don't put every ounce of life left you have in them only. Yes, it is important. It is crucial to have other people near. It is crucial to have people near you around this time when you can't think straight. It is crucial. Yes, it is dire. So yes, call out to these people. Let people know. Even if it's one person. It's better than just keeping it to yourself. Trust me, you feel better talking about things. Most people just need an outlet, okay? It is crucial to have people around you in this time. You need people that you can trust. But remember, people will fail because they're not perfect. But that water is. I want to I want to let I want to tell you something. God didn't throw you in this situation so you could die. The father put you in this situation so he can open your eyes. It can always get worse. It, trust me, it can. It can. Just ask the father. Ask the father how bad, how worse can it get, God? I encourage you to tell one person, one person. At least at the at the end of this video, I encourage you. I double dog, triple dog dare you. And I bet you'll feel at least a little bit of that weight lifted off of you. Knowing someone else is trying to help you. I don't know what it is you're going through. But I don't know what or who told you that nobody cares. You say that don't show it. Tell them what you're going through, and I bet in 10 out of 10, they'll, sh they'll show you. Tell them what you're going through, and I bet 10 out of 10, they'll show you. And if they don't, I know someone who will. Jesus, that living water. Tell him, and I bet 10 out of 10, he'll show, he'll show you how much he cares for you. 
He created all of these things, every little detail, but he said it. He said, let grass grow before the earth. He said, let dry ground appear. He didn't say, let their man be walked. Nope, he didn't. He got down on his hands and knees and he created us. You see, each one of us is creating his very own image. So, of course, look, look how much he cares for us. He threw you in a situation to open your eyes. He threw you in a situation so you can understand something. Don't lose hope. Get the living water. Pray. Pray, pray, pray. Surround yourself with immense amounts of prayer. I mean colossal. Like, we need a faith like A tree roots that go deep beneath the surface. We need that type of faith to survive out here. 